Hello and welcome to my channel Cocina de Conchi. Thank you for watching this video. Today we are going to make green enchiladas. We are going to start by placing the tomato, three jalapeno peppers, the 12 serrano peppers, and the three tomatillos in a strainer to wash them really good because when we roast them, we are going to blend them with the roasted skin as well for better flavor. If you don't want your enchiladas to be too spicy, just substitute some serrano peppers for a poblano pepper or just add more jalapenos and less serranos. Our peppers and tomato have been rinsed. Now we are going to place them on the skillet to roast. You can roast two Roma tomatoes instead of the one big tomato if you wish. They are much easier to roast if they are small. We need to be turning them frequently so they roast evenly on all sides. Our peppers and tomatoes have been roasted. Now I'm going to place them in a plastic bag to steam for 10 minutes. are up now we are going to add them to the blender I am going to add one big garlic clove one and a half tablespoons of chicken bouillon one teaspoon of tomato bouillon two teaspoons of salt and finally we are going to add two cups of warm water Now we are going to blend everything together, make sure it's well blended. Now we are going to cut one fourth of a small onion in small pieces. We are going to add two tablespoons of oil and let it heat. Our oil is ready. We are going to add the onion and saute it until it crystallizes. The onion is ready, so now we can add our blended enchilada sauce carefully. Let it boil for a little bit and then try it to make sure it doesn't need any more salt. Now we let it boil for another five minutes and we are done with our enchilada sauce. Now we are going to fry the tortillas for the enchiladas. We are going to add half a cup of oil in a different pan and we're going to let it heat. The oil is ready. I'm going to fry the tortilla for 12 seconds on one side and then 12 seconds on the other. No more than 12 seconds on each side or you will not be able to roll them later. I'm going to fry the rest and move on to the next step. This time I'm going to fill my enchiladas with cheese and onion, but you can fill them with chicken or beef or whatever you want. I'm just going for the traditional cheese and onions. I'm going to chop enough onion for the enchiladas I'm going to make and get my cheese out. You should be able to make enchiladas for at least six people. We are going to add desired cheese and onion to our tortillas and roll them up. I don't like mine rolled, so I'm going to make some for me that are just folded in half. Now I'm going to 
going to add some rice. If you want the recipe to my rice, it is up and ready to go on my YouTube channel. Now I'm going to add some enchilada sauce on top of the tortillas and stick them in the microwave for about a minute and a half so the cheese melts and the sauce and the rice get warm. Okay, I took them out of the microwave and now I'm going to add some lettuce, tomato, cilantro, lime, and Mexican cream. I was going to add some slices of avocado as well, but I couldn't find any. You can find the Mexican cream at a Mexican store or at Walmart. And there you have the macarons, our green enchiladas. Please subscribe to my channel, Cocina de Conchis, if you haven't done so already and turn on the notifications so you won't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much and see you next time.